Hello. We are pleased to introduce OnePlan and how it's extending Microsoft's PPM vision in the Microsoft Cloud. OnePlan is a firm that helps people with business agility transformation, both from the people, process, and technology aspects. We deal with all aspects of the Microsoft Cloud and a number of solutions in IP that help people realize the outcomes that they're looking for. We're consistently recognized as a leader in the Microsoft Partner Community and were recently named their 2021 Global Partner of the Year in Project and Portfolio Management and a finalist in Power Apps and Power Automate. We've uh, received this award prior and have many gold certifications. Part of this is because we're active in helping companies in digital transformation. The Power Platform is one of Microsoft's biggest bets per Satya Nadala in this area, and we're pursuing it with a lot of vigor. Now, the future of Microsoft PPM is on the Power Platform, which consists of Power Apps, Power Automate, and Power BI, with data stored in the Dataverse repository. Both Microsoft's new entry of Project for the Web as well as OnePlan are all based on this Power Platform foundation. Now, Project for the Web is the latest entry providing simple, easy to use, simple to get started project management and scheduling uh, for any type of project manager of any skill level or experience. The idea is to have all the basics done and get it done in the cloud. It gives a fresh new experience, a modern interface, and allows us to do things uh, in an interactive way and collaborate with co-authoring and such. Now, to extend this to a full solution, this is where Power Apps comes in. OnePlan is pleased to have helped Microsoft by developing the PPM Accelerator or Project Accelerator that extends that web-based scheduling tool of Project for the Web into a full solution. While Project for the Web provides the ability to create projects and tasks and schedules within there, the accelerator really envelops that in an overall solution that provides things like uh, issues and risks and changes and status reports, providing some governance and KPIs, the ability to have project requests, and the ability to aggregate projects into collections of programs, as well as providing a report pack that provides dashboards and reports in Power BI. Now, this is good for some, uh, but in the PPM marketplace, there's a lot of mature companies out there that are looking to do more things than what's in the accelerator. And the Gardner Group talks about those things. Uh, some of these are uh, listed here in this chart. Now, OnePlan with the accelerator and extending that with OnePlan's IP of the OnePlan solution adds things like strategies and portfolios and prioritization and what if analysis, financials and capacity planning as well as the ability for team members to uh, fill out and respond with status in their My Work area or their timesheets. On top of that, the ability to do more than just use Project for the Web and connect it to a variety of planning tools like Microsoft Project Professional on the desktop, Azure DevOps, or more non-Microsoft tools is something that the marketplace is looking for to handle not only multiple tools, but multiple methodologies, whether they be waterfall, agile, or some hybrid. And this is all because OnePlan has an integration platform that brings that all into the mix, into OnePlan and hence into the PPM Accelerator. Now, OnePlan is built in and for the Microsoft Cloud. And in that context, Power Apps is one play where we can surface the OnePlan capabilities within Power Apps and in the Accelerator. But it can also be consumed by users who are in Dynamics, also in Azure DevOps, or also consumed right from within Teams, which is a popular place for people to do those things today. Stay working in the tools that you work in every day and leverage the benefits of OnePlan. Capabilities that you might find in the base accelerator and project for the web might be demand management and requests and reporting around that. It might have program management, which is the aggregation of projects into logical con uh, collections. Project management, whether it be in a simple grid, a board, or in a timeline or a Gantt chart. Risk management with a risk log and some reports around that. Issue management and reports around those as well. Being able to uh, log change requests and uh, have reports on those and uh, get approvals on those. As well as status reports that include both objective data points as well as narrative that may put into its overall status report. And the project intelligence, the accelerator report pack overall gives you some extended reporting in Power BI that lets you track different dimensions and aspects of your projects and portfolios. Now, 
where one plan adds in the mix is to do more things at the portfolio level, especially providing more capabilities at the portfolio level. That might include the ability to bring in, as I said, other tool sets, project professional, planner, Azure DevOps, Jira, you name it, into the mix. So your projects can come from a variety of different sources. Portfolio prioritization that allows us to put good scoring models in here for good project selection and prioritization of our projects. For more agile types of organizations, having your portfolio viewed and interacted with in a Kanban board for things like program increment planning. Product roadmaps that are created automatically based on the data that you have in the one plan and power app solution. A portfolio tree hierarchy so you can have entities at a higher level and organize things in the portfolios or programs or value streams or whatever your uh, whatever your methodology or your structure is. Resource capacity planning. Strictly added by here by one plan for time phased resource capacity planning, whether it be in terms of FTEs or hours or percentages of allocation to see where we might be overloaded in our overall project mix. The ability to even have resource negotiations to facilitate by play between the project managers and the functional organizations that supply the resources. Resource prioritization, taking the mix of portfolio and resource planning together and seeing if we have the resources to fulfill on a portfolio and prioritize and select our projects based on our ability to deliver resources and do them in a what if scenario mode that we can compare and select from alternatives. Financial planning, getting into detailed financials, tracking cost categories and cost types, CapEx and OpEx, and be able to track those within your projects and roll them up to overall individual projects, and also do what if scenario modeling and prioritization based on the limits and constraints we have in our financials. Also in my work area, where team members on projects can actually go to one place on all their projects and work that's assigned to them and provide status back to the organization and to the project managers on what they've accomplished and to what degree they're finished. That could be taken further on into timesheets where people have to record time that need to be tracked for either CapEx, uh, um, OpEx, or even billable organizations that have to bill or invoice or charge back things uh, uh, accordingly. And then there's insights in AI that gives a user the ability to take a look at what needs their attention, what might be overdue, and maybe the things that uh, they should be focused on uh, in the mix and having intelligence within the solution to actually help them do that. On top of that, you could also add strategic portfolio management with objectives and key results and layer that on top of the overall project portfolio and not only execute on your strategies, but also align your project portfolio uh, with those strategies to make sure that we're working on the right things that align with the objectives of the organization. One plan. Our story is really about being invested in success. Our success, not just our success, but your success. Reach out to us at oneplan.ai or you can email us at contact at oneplan.ai. Thank you and hope you have a great day.